Crunch Tunes YouTube family. It is 4.30 on Thursday, October the 10th, 2019. I'm out here in Bridgeton, Indiana at the famous Bridgeton Mill for the setup day of the Cover Bridge Festival. Uh, setup is already done. That's actually me right, right over there, right beyond the green tent. I'm already set up. Had a few hours to do some fishing. So once I get out there, I'm going to go using my boots to walk out over these rocks. But the water is so loud, once I'm out there, I can't really do any talking. All I can do is just show you the fish that I caught. Of course, I'm going to turn on the sports camera, let you guys see as much action as I, as I can. Hopefully, I'll catch something. So let's get right into it. Well, I was beginning to wonder if this is going to happen at all, but it looks like we got a good start here. Hopefully, I'll get a few more. Well, that one sure is pretty, but definitely not big enough to eat. Well, I got no idea what to, what kind of fish this is. If I was fishing off of a pier, I'd say it was a whiting. It looks like a whiting. This is a freshwater river. What it, it, leave it in the comments if you know what this thing is. Six o'clock now. Just got another one. Starting to look like a pretty good dinner. Turning out to be a pretty good day. Just got another one. Wow. Uh, I, I don't even know how much it weighs. But man, that thing fought. <laughs> Oh, oh my word, I've got enough fish meat now to last for a while. <laughs> I'm starting to think I might should just stop fishing at this point. <laughs> wow, <laughs> uh, look at that. Just caught another one of those whiting fish. <sighs> exactly 6.55 now, and I have decided to stop fishing. Not because it's gotten dark or because I'm out of bait, but because I've got all the fish I need for a long time. There's no reason to, to keep going at it at this point. Still, if you think about it, starting at 4.30 and going until 6.55, what is that? Two and a half hours, something like that? That's not a bad day's catch. What do you think? What do you think, Nestor? Huh? You ever seen a live fish like that? Also, stopping before it gets completely dark uh, allows me at least a little bit of daylight to clean these fish without having to do it inside the camper. Uh, so let's go ahead and measure just how big is the biggest one I caught today. Uh, let's see here. It is 17 and a half inches. I've caught a few that were bigger than this, but this is definitely one of the biggest I've caught this year. 17 and a half inches. It's actually bigger than anything I caught while deep sea fishing this year. Which is why <laughs> I prefer freshwater fishing so much more because I'm just better at it. All right, you guys know the drill. Now, with the power vested in me by this here filleting knife, I now transform all of you fish into these fillets. Wow, there is a lot here, and of course, I ran out of daylight and had to set up the spotlight. Boy, did that get messy! Got myself a whole bag full of heads and skins and guts and all that. Gonna have to dispose of that. But we are stocked up, well stocked up now on good, fresh fish meat. So we're gonna have to get this cooked. And there it is. One giant bag full of fish meat and then the two big fillets in another bag. Let's throw these in the refrigerator see what I can uh, make with them a little later on. Well, it's exactly 9 o'clock in the morning on the next day now, Friday, October the 11th, 2019. And 
uh, technically we are supposed to be open by by nine o'clock and I am not and that is because of the relentless drizzle of rain Ugh. and as you can see even Miss Vicky is not open everyone is not open oh wait we've got a few we've got a few troopers here people that uh, have stuff like the lawn ornaments and the stones that are not at all damaged by water well, they're opening but for the most part most of us are like me selling paper product and I've already had to throw away a bunch of paper because of water damage I don't want to get my examples out I don't want to open up I don't want to do anything it's gonna waterlog my easel it's gonna make the paper soft or I can't even draw on it it's just not uh, we don't even have a whole lot of shoppers out here. I mean, look at this. Look. There's one shopper over there with an umbrella. There's been a few walking around with ponchos. It's definitely not worth it to open right now. What a what a way to start Cover Bridge Festival. What a way. They do still have the tradition of having the free square donuts from in town and free coffee on the first Friday morning for all of their vendors. That's a great tradition to have. Pumpkin pie creamer. Yeah, I'll take some of that. I just love pumpkin season. You can see some troopers over here parking and coming through the walkway over to the festival area. And the water level's up. There's another positive. A little bit after two o'clock now, I went ahead and opened. The rain has uh, died down and then got strong again over and over. That's what the radar said it was going to do. I went ahead and opened, and I'm sitting at right now, I've uh, sold about a, a half a dozen drawings. So that is more than I thought I was going to do when I opened this morning. So. Time for my first pepper jack grilled cheese sandwich with bacon added on uh, mill ground, ground whole wheat bread, freshly baked. Oh my goodness, this festival is such a foodie festival. <sighs> oh, the cold rainy day just makes it taste so much better. It's later at night now, well after closing time, and the sun has gone down. It's time to start cooking on these fish. Warm, simmer, boil, and fry. We're definitely going to fry them. I'm going the old school route, the yellow corn mill. Instead of doing the Old Bay fish spice like I've done so many times in the past, probably a few too many times to really claim to be as experimental as I do, so this time I am going to try something I've found called Tropical Seasoning and Rub and uh, I gave it a little taste test I like the taste of it but I think I'm gonna bulk it up with a or season it up a little more with a little extra garlic salt let's get that pressed down into the meat and see what happens While we still got that golden brown look, let's go ahead and take this first batch off. Let them cool and give them a little, little taste test. Let's see what kind of flavor I got going on here. Still warm, but not burn your tongue. Let's give it a try. Okay. That's a definite yes. I'm going to do the rest of all the fish meat just like this. And that is <clears throat> the last piece. I've been eating these, a lot of them, as they've cooled. And I'm full. And still 
plenty left over to warm up tomorrow and probably some the next day as well. Probably a good thing I stopped fishing when I did. A lot of fish meat here. At any rate, got a little bit of cleanup left to do. Gonna get some good rest and looking forward to the rest of the festival. Lots of videos coming out. Uh, guys, if you've enjoyed this one, please don't hesitate to indicate so by hitting that thumbs up like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on notifications. Leave some comments. Please share around, do all that other nice stuff. Join the Facebook group, all that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.